Now let's create a custom hotspot which changes the cursor to a specific hand pose. So let's create a game object. Game object, 3D object, cube. And we place the cube somewhere in the scene so that our camera can see it. Now to change the cursor when the mouse points on this cube, we need to add another component to the cube. So let's go into the inspector of the cube, click on add component and search for cursor. Here we use set cursor 3D. The most important thing that we have to set is the state. Let's click on the button and you will get a list of all the possible hand states. Let's take the grab state. Play. Now when the hand moves over the cube, the hand turns into grab state. There is a second field which is called push state, which is basically the state that is shown when the mouse is pressed. Let's also select a state here and we use the drag state. Now play again. The mouse is over, we have the grab state and if we press the mouse we have the grab state. Now here's another option which is called lock push state which is by default activated. This prevents that the mouse is changed when you drag outside the object. So let's remove the flag for a moment to see what happens without it. I move over the cube, I push the mouse button and I hold it and I drag outside of the cube. The exit event of the collider triggers the cursor script and my hand cursor goes into idle state again, although that I am still pressing the mouse button. So this is what you probably don't want. So this is what lock push state does. Let's activate it and try again. I do the same. I click on the cube and I drag the mouse and now the drag cursor stays intact. So we still have the drag image, although there was this exit event, which uh, usually would uh, turn back into the idle state. So if only if I release the mouse button, then I go back into the idle state. To make the cursor work with 3D objects, we have one major condition, and this is we need a collider object on it. If we don't have a collider on the 3D object, the mouse event cannot be detected. So when we remove the collider, for example, and scan for problems, then you'll also see warning the cube which has the set cursor 3D script, does not have a collider. When we play it, nothing will happen.